Hello researchers, how are you? I hope you are fine and doing well. In my Raspberry Pi series of videos, I am going to add yet another powerful video today in which I will be demonstrating how to install Android 6.0 Marshmallow or I can say Android 6.0.1 or 6.1 on Raspberry Pi 3. So you can see that we have the official Android Marshmallow website over here and uh, you can see that Marshmallow which we use in our mobile phones, in our tablets, in our computers and why not we should not use into Raspberry Pi. So I have uh, uh, gone through a series of uh, research and I was able to demonstrate you today and uh, about how to install uh, Marshmallow on Raspberry Pi 3. And remember that I'm going to use Raspberry Pi 3 but I don't recommend to use Raspberry Pi 2 because when I was using the same setup procedure it was giving me some errors towards Wi-Fi and Bluetooth but as we know that Raspberry Pi 3 has inbuilt Wi-Fi and Bluetooth so we will not find any problem in connecting the internet or going through any series of steps okay so the first point is that that where to get the Android Marshmallow for Raspberry Pi 3 so here is a link that is mediafire.com so you can find that uh, there is a 193 MB of file which is being required and it's a stable file which is having all the bugs of Wi-Fi and Bluetooth being fixed off okay so what you have to do is to click on download and uh, you can uh, you are ready to go so which you can see on the screen I have already downloaded if I right click over here you can see that it is about 193 MB of download so if I double click over here you can find there is an image which you have to extract over there and here is the image so if I right click over here and click on properties it becomes 7.4 GB of disk image so uh, let us start with how to install Raspberry Pi, uh, Raspberry Pi 3 using Marshmallow so let us go to SD card formatter so the first thing is that we have to first of all insert the SD card you can see the SD card is uh, empty so I recommend to use at least class 10 with 16 GB of uh, drive space so click on SD formatter click on yes now click on option click on off ok format ok ok so it has been formatted and now this card is ready to use to be installed for marshmallow installation so we go with the window 32 disk image which we use always in order to install the ISO image into the SD card so click on the browse and now we go to desktop you can find Marsh R by 3 Wi-Fi Bluetooth 1904 2016 so which means Marshmallow for Raspberry Pi 3 which contains Wi-Fi and Bluetooth and which was released on 1904 2016 so I click on open and I click on write yes and we should continue so uh, you can say that it is about you can say 7, 7, 7 GB so uh, it will take about uh, 10 to 15 minutes to complete so till then we pause the video for some time so now you can see that almost we are on the verge of completion that we can see that it is about 97 percent and it has taken me about uh, 7 to 10 minutes in between time in order to install to this percentage so about 10 minutes will be enough if you have a SD card with a good speed uh, it will be okay so let's wait for 100 percent yes so now you can see that the write is successful and now this SD card is having all the files to run Android Marshmallow 6.0.1 so let's press OK, let's exit it and now what we have to do is to safely eject the SD card and after that we go to the part B of my video in which will be I will be live demonstrating uh, on the Raspberry Pi 3 how to start and how to bridge up the Wi-Fi and uh, how to do some basic marshmallow operations. So right click over here, eject boot. So now let's go to Raspberry Pi 3. So hello everyone, now we are on the Raspberry Pi 3. This is my Raspberry Pi 3. As you can see, there's a small uh, Raspberry Pi logo over here and I have already connected my HDMI to my HDTV and here is the power cable and here is my keyboard and my mouse. I will not connect any, any Wi-Fi dongle because you can see that here is uh, having the chip that is with Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. So now we have also connected the SD card which you can see over here. You can see the SD card has already been connected which is already installed with Marshmallow 6.0.1. So now let us power on this Raspberry Pi and let's see the first boot of Android. So you can see I am awning the Raspberry Pi, starting with Raspberry Pi. So here we go. You can see the power has come and now you can see over here the screen. So in a seconds we will be seeing the Android logo. Yeah, so you can see that the Android logo has come 
and because it is a first time installation so it will take some time about two to three minutes and uh, after that two to three minutes we will be greeted up with the first screen of marshmallow okay so we just pause the video for some time and then we return back when it is put it up so now you can see that the android logo has bypassed and it has taken about two to three minutes to bypass so you can see that uh, the first boot of android, uh, of android is there make yourself at home and you can put your favorite apps here a beautiful watch and to see all your apps touch the circle here we have the phone we have the contacts and where we have the mid button and here we have the camera so let's click on ok and now let us click over here so which means that the apps will be opening because it's a uh, first time so it will take some time to open so uh, let me tell you one thing that when I was researching on Android on Raspberry Pi 3 I was not very much impressed with the uh, with the facilities or the uh, apps which is being there even I was not able to locate the Play Store even so I will just tell you how to first of all uh, bypass the screens and uh, how to enable Wi-Fi on Android Marshmallow and uh, let's wait you can see that it is also very slow okay so you can see that there are lots and lots of things are there that is android key we have the uh, so let's click ok over here first of all so we have uh, android key calculator calendar camera clock contacts downloads email gallery messaging media uh, music search settings and web view so let's go to some settings okay so now you can see that uh, the settings page is there and we have to click on Wi-Fi because as you have to as I've already told you in a couple of minutes before that I am not going to uh, install my Wi-Fi dongle because it is already containing the Wi-Fi so just click on this smart switch as we click in our mobile phones and now you can see that Wi-Fi is on turning Wi-Fi on is message is there and let's wait for a couple of seconds where it will be detecting the Wi-Fi beacon frames and let us connect our uh, Wi-Fi over there so here is my uh, Wi-Fi of Airtel so it will be asking for the password so let me key in the password okay it is so the password is being keyed in so let's click on connect so you can see that it is saved and it is connecting and authenticating now it is getting the IP address so in order to bypass the screen or you can click on escape or you can click on this so let's go to back and let's press escape to go to the home screen now you can see that the home screen has come but uh, I'm not able to locate any web browser also so here we have the gallery we have the musics so let's click on this so it's a web browser tester so let's go with this that is google.com let's see whether it is opening or not and yes it is opening so google.com is there because today is independence day so we have the good logo so so I just want to deny it don't want to use the location so in this video I have demonstrated how to install marshmallow 6.0 on and on Raspberry Pi 3 as you can see that not very much high facilities are there in the, into this uh, Raspberry Pi 3 marshmallow so do give this a shot and uh, I hope you like this video and do share with your friends thank you so much for watching